welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my summer sweat proof makeup. So first things first, I already went ahead and did my brows and I also did my eyeshadow and put on some chapstick. So now we can strictly just focus on the skin. Um, so I feel like the foundation of skin is so important, especially the skincare, the prepping, prepping for the actual like foundations that you're gonna put on the skin. I feel like you can have the sturdiest, most long wearing foundation, but if you don't have the right products underneath to hold up that foundation, foundation it's not going to last and I've come to realize that through years of wearing makeup and through years of trying like heavy duty foundations and still not seeing the best results I feel like now I found products that actually do a really good job of just being long wearing so first things first I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Caudalie grape water spray this is really good if you have any areas that may be a little bit dry or dehydrated and you need to really give it that like prep that's going to make your skin feel super refreshed. I feel like when it's summertime, sometimes your skin can get very dehydrated because it's so hot. The heat, especially if you're not really giving your body the right things, like if you're not consuming enough water, I feel like sometimes it can start to show on your skin. So it's just super important for me to always use my great water or any spray that you may have that you enjoy using before you apply makeup. I feel like it's really important. This one I like the best because it does a really good job of being sensitive friendly for people that have sensitive skin like myself especially with the rosacea it helps so much and it just feels really good once I start applying it okay. so we're gonna put that one to the side and now we're gonna move on to the next step so something else that I've been obsessed with lately is my Farsali rose gold elixir drops this stuff is so good and it's funny because people raved about this last year like everybody had it it is a little bit pricey but it wasn't until this year that I started to use this oil. And I only use it on my cheek area because that's where my rosacea has been a little bit on the dry side. So what I like to do is I kind of like to just really go in the cheeks and apply it as best as I can. Gives you like a nice radiance. I know a lot of people like to use this as a primer. Um, for me, it's not enough because it's like an oil and at least for my skin, when I just apply an oil primer, sometimes foundation in the summertime can tend to slide off very easily. I also like to do this probably about five or 10 minutes before I actually start applying my foundation just because I really want it to soak into my skin and give me the best result. Okay, so the next step we're gonna go ahead and do is we are gonna take our primer. So I'm gonna talk about a primer that I feel like is the best primer in the game right now. It does such a good job of locking shit in. And when I say that, I don't say it like, it keeps everything completely in place. And I think that is so important. I feel like primer a lot of times can be slept on. People are like, oh, it's just primer. Like they just use that step. But primer makes the biggest difference, especially when you have the right one. And I've been testing this primer out with a bunch of more affordable primers just to kind of do like wear tests on my own time and kind of see if I can find a do for it because I know this is pricey. But so far I haven't found a primer that really keeps everything completely in place, sealed and ready to go the entire day. So what I like to do first is I kind of like to warm it in the back of my hand so I kind of get that product spread out on my skin. I know some people were saying that they were having issues of it balling up onto their skin and I feel like something that I've noticed is that every time that I warm it up, I never have that issue because it's kind of like you're getting that product really into those fingers and then you can start to like put it on your skin without it looking like it's breaking apart or looking a little too thick. It is a thicker product, so you definitely want to kind of break it down on your fingers. Um, so I just like to put that all over the areas where I get very, very oily. So like my T-zone, my nose area, that's somewhere where I particularly get extremely oily. I've noticed that not only does it help it stay on for longer, but it also perfects those pores. It does such a good job of really making my pores look like they don't exist. I also wanna say, I feel like this primer gives the best results to people that have normal to really oily skin. I feel like if you have really dry skin, I can see how it can break apart and look chunky on the skin because it is a thicker product. And then once I've done that, I can take whatever I have left 
and kind of start dabbing it on the outskirts of my face. So usually what I've noticed is the areas where I tend to sometimes have some foundation come off of my skin is like on the outer edges of my face. So these parts right here is where I feel like me applying the Tatcha primer really helps the foundation stay in place through the day. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the face products. So I have two friends that we're gonna be using today. And you guys may be wondering why isn't she using like a full blown foundation? So there's actually two reasons. So the first reason is when I first started to get into figuring out the perfect foundation to use during a hot day when I was gonna go out um, and I just didn't want to sweat through it, was finding something that was super thick and heavy duty. That was always how I saw things. So I would always gravitate towards the Kat Von D foundation. And you guys know if you try that foundation, it's super thick and long wearing and it just, it literally doesn't budge, but it feels like you have like something full blown on. So I came to the realization that for me at least, cause I can tend to sweat a little bit easier than some people. Like I just, I'll go outside, it'll be really hot and I'll start sweating. So what I noticed is that when I'm wearing heavier makeup, that's when I sweat even more, like way more. So I just felt like, what's the point of me wearing this really heavy foundation if I'm just gonna sweat it off and it's just gonna feel so nasty and thick, just because it's so thick, it's gonna feel gross. And it's gonna clog my pores because there's so much of it and it's just too, too thick for words. So that was one thing. And then the other thing was that a lot of the foundations that are super like full coverage and thicker consistencies do not have SPF, at least the ones that I really enjoy. They don't have SPF. And that was another thing that I really wanted to include in my foundation just because during the summertime, especially, I mean, year round, you should wear your sunscreen. But in the summertime, you really want to be protected. So I was like, okay, I need to find something that's really gonna have all those features. So that's where these two come in. So I'm gonna be using the Lancun Skin It Feels Good Foundation, and then I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. And fit. This one has 50 SPF, and this one has 23 SPF. So um, here's something else that I learned while working in Sephora. Just because you may have 50 SPF and then 23 SPF doesn't mean that you have 73 SPF. No, it's just gonna be as if you had a one or the other. So I don't even think of it that way, but I know that they both have sunscreen, so I know I'm gonna be okay. So what I like to do is, because I am kind of like in between shades right now, and this one by Lancome is a little bit too light, what I like to do, this is in the shade Sand, I like to mix them together because the one by A Cosmetics is darker than the one by um, Lancome. So I like to mix them together like this. And you can see the consistency is nice and smooth. It's not too runny, but it's not too thick. And that's exactly what my skin needs. It needs something that's perfectly in between. It's not looking for something that's gonna feel like I have a shitload of foundation on. I just want something that's gonna cover, but still make my skin look evened out. So I'm gonna take my Delium Tools Precision Kabuki brush. This is my favorite brush to do my foundation. If you guys watch my channel, you guys know that. And then we're gonna start blending those two in. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can see how this product works together. And I just like how lightweight they both feel. It doesn't even feel like I have product on my skin, but then I look in the mirror and I'm like, okay, she's got product on her skin. So I like to just kind of press it in certain areas and then take it from there. And I like to use a brush for this process because these are more of a like medium buildable coverage product. I feel like using a sponge can absorb too much of that product. And also I kind of just like the finish that a brush gives you as a whole, especially when you want it to look more like a fuller coverage. And it does look fresh and radiant right now which is okay because we are going to be doing a few more steps that's gonna change the look of this foundation. Okay, and we're just gonna use that one layer. I pumped like three pumps out of each one and I think this is perfect enough. I feel like if we used more, it would look like too much product on the skin. So this is good enough. We're gonna put the foundations away. It's so funny how things change. I remember before I used to be a big fan of doing like freaking 
four layers of foundation and now I just like the more lighter feel. I don't want my skin to feel like it's covered in all this makeup. I just like it to feel like it's fresh. You know, um, another reason why I like to use a lighter weight consistency foundation and something that's a little bit more radiant before I go ahead and bake my skin is because if I use something that's so matte and dry, when I go in to bake, it's going to start separating and just look way too cakey and it's going to look like you have way too much on. So that's one of the main reasons why I also like to start off with a thinner base and something that kind of has more luminosity in it, even though it's not going to end up like that. So we're going to go ahead and take my sponge. And we are going to begin baking. And we're just going to bake around the smile lines and then down here. So you basically want to add powder and bake in all the areas where you get really oily. So right now it's gonna look a little weird, a little crazy. Cause I feel like a big, a big thing that people do is that they just go in and powder everything up and they're like, okay, we're good to go. But just focus mainly on the areas where you just feel like your oils are unstoppable. And I'm telling you, you doing that is gonna make a big difference rather than trying to cover every little area. So we're just gonna worry about that part right now. I know that there's still some oil peeking through right here. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take care of that after we are done. So right now I know it looks really weird and crazy like I'm just, I have like random powder on my skin. Um, but this is just a technique that I like to do to really get those oils under control. So now I'm gonna move on to my concealer. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Ultra Flawless Concealer. The reason why I like to use this concealer a lot right now is because it is a nice lightweight consistency. It's not too thick but it is not too like runny. It's a really good coverage concealer and when I do my makeup, I like to really add that coverage. So I feel like this is the perfect consistency for that and it's very long wearing and I think that when you are, you know, going to be outside or you want something to be summer sweat proof, then you really need to find those products that will be long wearing on your complexion. After that, we're gonna take our sponge we are just going to bake exactly where the creasing happens. You don't want to bake the entire eye, just where the creasing happens. Your main target is just where those creasing lines are so that I can really keep them in place. I look so funny right now. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we'll be good. Okay, so now we're gonna start dusting the other powder away. So let's go ahead and just Dust it out, brush it out. You can start to see how nice and matte it looks. And then the forehead as well. Okay, so now that we dusted off all that powder, we're gonna go in with a pressed powder. So we're gonna be taking the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder. It has a little bit of like some luminosity in there. It's not like a highlighter whatsoever. It's just not gonna give you a completely matte look. And we're just gonna put that wherever there is any more oils, but you're going to make sure that you're very, very light with it and you don't use too much of it because you really don't need it that much for those areas. You kind of already took care of the areas where you do get oily. So you just kind of wanna take care of the areas that you know you wanna prevent from catching a dew. So that was the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. And we're gonna dust that powder off. And then we are going to dust this powder off in a second. I always like to really give it its time to do its work because if you don't, it can be an issue. But it's also very helpful when you use a powder that's really fine, which is why I like to use this Patrick Star one because it's nice and fine, but it's not going to make my skin feel so dry and tight. I know with some um, powders, you can totally get that feeling. For me, with the Laura Mercier powder, I do get that feeling where it just feels super tight and dry. With this one, it just feels normal and it feels really good. Um, but now we're gonna be taking some blush. I'm gonna be taking my Milani Luminoso, which is one of my favorite blushes. And we're just going to be blushing 
these cheeks, these cheek cheeks. And I'm just gonna be doing that. And you can see even though we are applying that blush, it's not making the foundations or the powders that we put on the skin break apart. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our It Cosmetics Bye Bye Bronzer. Um, this one is in the color Beach. And I love this bronzer because not only does it kind of help minimize those pores in this area right here, but it also really helps kind of warm up the face and also give it that long wearing effect. I'm gonna be taking this brush. This is the A Cosmetics number eight brush and we are going to begin warming up the face. I love this brush to put on my bronzer and just to kind of like do a little bit of contouring sometimes because it does such a good job of blending out the product but also making it look really just nice and noticeable on the skin. So I use this all the time. And the only areas we're gonna be warming up today are the forehead and kind of like this chin area because we already went in with blush. I don't wanna do too much over there, have too many colors overlapping each other. Okay, so now that we have done that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlight because I definitely wanna kind of bring back a little bit of luminosity into my face because right now it's like all looking matte. Um, so we're gonna be taking my MAC Cosmetics Oh Darling highlighter. I think they just made this one permanent, but I'm not gonna be taking my um, A23 brush, my Anastasia, because it's pointed. So I feel like these type of brushes really give you a lot of intensity to your highlight. So I'm just gonna be taking my A Cosmetics fan brush because it kind of distributes the color all throughout. So it kind of, isn't gonna give you like full blown intensity in one little spot. It's gonna give you more of like a gradual effect highlight. And you don't wanna use too much. You just kinda wanna dust it off lightly and give you like a very just from within glow. Okay, and the last thing I like to do to really give this look the finishing touches is go in with my MAC Fix Plus in the matte version of it. This stuff is so good and I am so happy MAC came out with this because I feel like it was a very awaited product. I feel like there's so many people that are looking for something that's just gonna really lock shit in and just keep you mad for a long period of time. And this is exactly what that's been doing for me, especially during this summer heat. There's days where it'll be really hot. I'm like, oh my God, I'm probably gonna get sweaty and overly oily and dewy. And I do not have that with, it makes you feel hydrated, but still keeps that skin matte. So I like to just shake it and I like to kind of keep it further away from my face so that it doesn't get those white dots when it sprays. <sighs> it's just so good. I just feel like as soon as it goes into your skin, it's like, bam. At first it does feel a little bit like sticky, but within like a good five minutes, it just all locks in and it doesn't feel like anything. So I really love that about this MAC, new MAC Fix Plus, cause it's so good. So this is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. It wasn't anything too crazy because I definitely wanted to just focus on the skin and how I get this really nice, sweat proof foundation look. I feel like it's so needed right now, especially during the summertime. If you guys have any other suggestions for future videos, then please go ahead and comment them down below so I know what to film next. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video and are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love for you to become a member of family here on YouTube. I wouldn't want you guys to miss my videos for the world because I always bring you guys some really good stuff. So go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.